Hi, this is Steve from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK. And you can find us online at gsuitetips.com, the home of all our tips. Um, you can search for tips. You can see the latest tips that have been, um, been shared with you. You can also follow along on Twitter. Um, and you can follow us on Google Plus and, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel there as well. So um, today's tip is on the new Gmail, which you're probably aware of. It's rolled out. Um, it's available now in G Suite. It has to be enabled within the domain by the domain admin to work with um, Gmail on G Suite, for the, the Google business uh, solutions. So um, if you can't see what I'm about to show you, check with your admins. They've turned it on. Um, there are some things that are rolling out to the new Gmail for the consumer version, the gmail.com, uh, non-G Suite version of Gmail first. Things like um, the uh, the automatic um, typing and 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 suggested uh, suggested typing for you. That's turned on for the Gmail consumer accounts, but not yet available in in G Suite. Coming soon, hopefully. So you can see here, this is the traditional, uh, now classic Gmail interface, and I'm going to switch on the new one. So if I click on settings. Try the new mail. If I click that, we should see it reloading. You can see you get this nice animation here, and then boom, it loads. And you'll start to see it looks a little bit different all around. Um, lots of things I could show you, but I'm not going to show you all of it today. I'm going to share a particular one thing about snoozing emails. So um, you can see a couple here. It says snoozed one hour ago. Now, the problem with demoing this is that um, it's hard to show it in real time, but let's just um, show you how you can do it. So you could snooze a bunch of messages in one go. When I select something, I get the buttons here. This is the new one, snooze, okay? Or if I were um, reading an email, then I get the snooze button there in the same place. So I'm gonna go back out again. I've got these two. Let's say I wanna, I wanna snooze both of these, okay? So if I click on the snooze button, it's gonna offer me snooze until tomorrow, this weekend, next week, someday, <laughs> or I can select a date and time. So I'm gonna try doing something um, uh, very, very shortly into the future. So I'm going to select date and time. I'm going to select today's date. So it's Wednesday the 30th. And the time right now is 21.05. So I'm going to set this to 21.07 and see if I get lucky and this will come back to life. So that's these two messages, 21.07. And now they've gone away. You can see that the messages that were there have gone away. If I click on snoozed, you can see all the messages that are currently snoozed. Okay. And they should come back at 21.07. Um, if I just uh, type in, uh, uh, I should say time, not date. 21.05, it thinks it is. So um, we're hoping that without you having to wait for too long, <laughs> uh, we'll see those come back into the inbox. So they've gone away, they've snoozed. You can find them straight away from the snooze link. But when they come back, they'll... Um, They'll, they'll have that little label on so you can see that they came back. Also, if you notice, if I click on another one, let's just go to this one. If I click on um, the snooze button now, um, it, it will, if I click select date and time, it will let me um, choose a specific one or I can select, you know, one for tomorrow, for example. So we're just kind of watching the time now to see when we get to 2107. Uh, can't be more than a minute away now. So we'll see if this just works in real time. A couple of the things that I can show you. Are you aware now that you can, um, by clicking on this menu button, you can collapse this left-hand side. It comes back when you roll over it and you can click it back on again and it will stay on. So you get more use of the screen real estate if you want to. Um, and again, it pops out again when you, when you roll over it. Likewise, over here on the right-hand side, you may have seen, you can look at your calendar uh, if there's anything in it. Okay and skip forward a day and back a day and click. Now, meanwhile, while we've been doing that, boom, our uh, messages came back. So you can see timely reaction required. That was one of them. Okay, and it's, uh, I think, I believe it's come back to life. Let me click again on snoozed. And we have nothing, uh, we only have, sorry, we have one left snoozed, which is the one I put on for one day. Um, and you can see here by clicking on the snooze button, you can see how long it's gonna um, take and you can unsnooze it as well. So I, I quite like the word unsnooze. So I've unsnoozed it manually and <laughs> get back to the inbox. Okay, I'll just refresh that. We should see all the messages there.
So I think it's pretty straightforward. You have to work out how you can use it and how you can adopt it into your workflow and uh, the way that you like to manage your emails. But I think for a lot of people, it's quite a nice way of um, noticing it, you know, pu pushing an email out of the way so it's not getting in your way and then it will come back, reliably come back to life at the appropriate time. So this is where I say um, thank you very much for watching. Remind you that you can find us at gsuitetips.com and on the Twitter and on the G plus and of course the subscription option on YouTube. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.